Okay, hey, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live quick tip tutorial. Uh, this is going to be on freezing tracks. And the way you freeze a track is if you have a MIDI track like this with a bunch of automation and stuff or the lead here. And um, this takes a lot of CPU, especially if I have multiple MIDI tracks that are doing a lot of different stuff. So the way I keep the CPU load down is um, I come over and I click on the MIDI track, right click, and freeze track. And now that that's done, you can see that it's highlighted it for me. And uh, I can't come in and move these automation lines anymore. It's essentially frozen, like some ice. But um, it's going to keep everything that I already have done, and it's going to lighten the load on the CPU, okay? Um, so if I do that multiple times, freeze track, boom, the CPU will free up some memory for me to do some other things. Um, the cool thing about it is if I come in now that this is frozen and right click and flatten, it will flatten and make everything permanent, as in it's better than like making a second channel or recording and waiting the whole time while it records. If you flatten it, it will just get it done for you real quick. Make it an audio file instead of MIDI. And then if I wanted to unfreeze and adjust these automation lines some more, I could just hit unfreeze track. Um, so it's pretty cool. And that's a, primarily here in a track this size would be for the CPU. But uh, if you had, let's say, some white noise buildup right here for this you know, for 16 bars or something that started here real low and then got real high and went shh, you know what it is. But uh, if you had that and uh, if it's one MIDI note that starts here and you start your cursor here midway through, it won't trigger, most of them won't trigger that MIDI note. So you'll have to start it here every time. And if you're adjusting, you know, um, if you're adjusting the the percussion build up here and here and you have to start down here every time you have to wait this whole oh well, you have to wait this whole time to get to here and that's just kind of stinky so if you uh you know right click freeze track you can start anywhere on this point and it will play the audio that is there for your midi without having to trigger a midi note down here or anything anyway that's a quick tip um use that it's very, very useful, especially if you don't have a big, beefy computer. Anyway, see you next time.